Hi everyone, Pride Month is coming up and I'm going to show you a few different ways to do the Pride logo in Adobe Illustrator. The first one we have is a diagonal rainbow and the second is a gradient and the third is uh, individual colors. So first of all, you um, I've used the Apple logo as an example. This is um, a PNG document or SVG and uh, it's not going to work uh, to create a clipping mask. Um, so this is how it works with the clipping mask. But if I do that for this logo, it doesn't work. <clears throat> the problem is that it's not a compound shape. Now in order to uh, convert it to a compound shape, we need to first do image trace. We go to window, image trace. <clears throat> and I always select ignore the white, so this gets rid of the background. You can also preview it. And you select trace. And then there's two other steps. It's still not a compound shape. Now we have to expand the logo into uh, an object that Illustrator understands. Um, and then we go to the Pathfinder right here. And you select Make Compound Shape. All right. Now let's try it. Ta da! So that's the first one, uh, that's how you do the first one, and you can also um, always release it again, and to make a, comp to make a uh, clipping mask, I just do Command 7 on a Mac, but you can also just select both objects, make sure the object's on top, behind, uh, on top of the rainbow, you go to Object, Clipping mask, make. And let's say you want to adjust some of the, the, the background. It's pretty easy. You just go to object, clipping mask, edit contents. And here you can move things around, adjust. So I think that looks good. We've got enough colors there. And to do this, I simply just created a rainbow color with the, the shape tool, rectangle tool. And uh, had all the colors um, in my palette already. Basically just creating a rainbow. Doesn't have to be perfect. So once you're done your your rainbow, you can just make sure there's no spaces in between them. Just make them into a group. So you can do Command G with a Mac, or you can go to Object Group. Put it behind the object. And uh, again, you want to make sure this is a compound object, compound shape, sorry. And then you just go Command seven or uh, command seven or object clipping mask make. Obviously there's some space there so you want to go back and um, edit the contents. 
so you want to ungroup this and just make those adjustments. Like so. And then once you're done, just group it again. Command seven, there you go. For the next one, I created a gradient. So to do that, you go to window, um, gradient, Oops, sorry, it's already selected, and um, uh, just select one and um, add it to, I'll just show you from the beginning, but um, pick the red, the orange, I had my colors up here, I don't know where they went, but yellow, for example, So there's our gradient. You can adjust it as much as you like. Okay. So I'll just add that um, add that to my swatches. Create a square, and it's all automatically that gradient. So put it behind the object. Command seven, you've got to click the mask. I'm just going to adjust it. Oops. There you go. Those are two ways to do it. The third method is with individual text. So um, if you have a logo, it might just be um, in type. Oh, no, not this one. <laughs> um, yes, we are. So you want to. Uh, Isolate each of the, the letters and excuse me while I increase the size here. Oops. Okay, I'll just use the size. But um, you want to make them into a path, kind of similar to what we did with the apple uh, with a compound path. So to do that with text, right now it's just written text, you know, so it's I select the object and I go to type, create outlines. Uh, now they're all individual shapes. And I can just select the color. Oops, that's a green. <laughs> select the color. Uh, make sure that you can ungroup them just to isolate it more. And you just going like that. So there's three different ways to do your pride logo. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and uh, don't forget to subscribe.